Welcome to another episode of the Quip Corners Book Corner. Yes, this month, it's part of CGI's. That was the acronym the Lord gave me. No, not computer-generated images. Well, I'm sure you'd have heard that from previous videos. <laughs> Christmas gift ideas. My guest has been here before, and actually, it's his birthday today. Congratulations to my guest. You'll see his bio right after this. Please join us in the Crip Corners Book Corner. Welcome back to the Quip Corners Book Corner, Dr. Eric. Well, thank you. It's 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 always a pleasure, always a joy, always humbling um, to be able to just come back on and see where people are and what God is doing and where they're going. But just always to be able to share in what God has blessed somebody else, their vision, their dream. And so I'm always humbled and honored, just one, to be invited back. Um, to share with your amazing people, your amazing audience, and just to be able to dialogue and talk and just just be grateful. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. So just before we started this, um, you mentioned, you know, a recent award. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So which book are we talking about today? Um, How to Handle Patient and Endurance. <laughs> Okay. Because most people in this hour, in this season, really don't. And it's amazing because I just jumped off a Bible study. My pastor was talking about faith and endurance and mm -hmm. talking about tribulation, but in the triumph of it in our faith. And one of the things he dealt with in one of the scriptures dealing with endurance. And most people really don't have the patience, but then we don't want to endure whatever the process, whatever the situation. And so... Um, this right here, how to handle patient and endurance really will help people to understand that the importance of it, but they definitely go hand in hand, but life will teach you even when you don't want to. I like that. Yes. Life sure has a way of sneaking up those life lessons. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what um, made you even write it? I mean, to your point, yes, people, you know, don't want to be patient or endure, but what made you write this book? Um, one, it's always God inspired, biblically based and backed up with the word. I always say to people, my books are not books. They're divine assignments. They're mm -hmm. biblically based, backed up with the word and God inspired. And so uh, when I was sitting and he gave that to me, how to handle patient and endurance. One, I had to go through it to be able to endure it, to be able to write it, to be able to release it. And so many times... Um, even with books, you have to be able to relate. You have to go through it. And I, I, I heard clear when he said, I had to be able to go through it, but I had to be able to write it, but yet be able to release it. And so I had to go through the process of even with me and 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 every day I literally take this to work because sometimes uh, whether it's the providers, whether it's the patients, whether it's the coworkers, I got to be reminded that I wrote something and I have to apply it myself mm. um, and have the patience and endurance or whatever it is, whatever the situation, whatever the circumstance. And so many times in life, you know, whatever it is, you know, people, one, they always say, don't pray for patience. But I beg, I turn around and say, look at it from another perspective, because it, life will teach you. Sometimes you'll say, don't pray for it, but guess what? It's going to go hand in hand with endurance. And so with the whole thing about it is, is that you're going to have to have some patience because you're not just going to go through life and not have some patience. Because like I said before, life will teach you whether you want to or not. And you're going to have to endure the process, the situation, because the truth of the matter is, you're not going to get to the next season, the next level, the next dimension if you don't handle what you're already in. You can't skip the process. You know, you can't skip 
it's where it's still in summer. Mm -hmm. And though kids go back to school, we know it begins to turn to fall, but I can't jump to fall without enduring the whole process of, of summer. Yeah. I can't get to, you know, fall. I've got to endure this summer season that I'm in before I can get to my fall season. And so I have to have endurance. I have to have the patience to know that I know there's another season coming. I know that fall is coming, but I can't jump to fall without enduring summer. Yeah. Hmm. And, and that's an everyday example. Yes. You know, and people will be like, yeah, yes. But for some people, it may seem too far-fetched. So, you know, how, how do you encourage people to cultivate the patience of enduring, if there's anything like that? Um, one, one of the base scriptures is, you know, uh, Ecclesiastes 9, 11, the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. One of the things, it's about endurance. But in here, it has a self-assessment dealing with evaluate your life, evaluate where you are, dealing with the pros, the cons, your vision, your dream, your goals. Where are you at in life? Evaluate, but understand they know we're all in this uh, journey, in this life. We're all in this race, in this journey of life. Even for believers, we're all in this Christian belief. However, it's the endurance part. It's not how I start, but how I finish. It's not how fast I run. It's that I endure. But Christ gave us the whole example about endurance. He endured the whole thing of the cross for us. And so he's laid the foundation for us and that we've got to endure. And just I use the illustration with the rabbit and the turtle. It wasn't how fast he was going. He just kept on going. He stayed in his lane. He worked the lane he was given. He didn't get distracted because the rabbit was faster or that he started. He just kept going. And so we've got to stay focused and determined. So the book will allow you to know you got to keep going. You got to look at it from another perspective. But it's not how you start, but how you finish. It's not how fast you run, but that you endure, but run this race with patience. Hmm. Interesting. So how would you, I mean, I know, I know the definitions, but some people may be wondering, is it being patient the same thing as enduring? What's the distinction? There's a difference because I may be able to endure some, but I don't have patience enough to wait on it. So I may go ahead or, you know, a lot of times we're waiting on whether it's a blessing, a miracle, whether we're waiting on a job, but we may take another job because this one seems to be waiting too long for us. I can endure, you know, saying, oh, I'm going to this other position or this other job. And I know it from experience, not based on the money, but I thought it was a career move. However, if I just, I look at it, if maybe if I'd have had a little bit more patience to wait, now my old department is everybody's working from home. You see what I'm saying? Though God has things or in this new position, I've learned things, I've gained experience, gained knowledge, met new people, but sometimes we don't have the patience. And so there's a difference because I may have patience, but I don't want to endure the process of it. So now I'm trying to skip the process or just like I'm trying to put it in a microwave when it should go in the oven. So now I'm trying to fast track it instead of enduring the process, just like I, I used the wilderness experience. I was in between the wilderness and the promise. But I had to endure that wilderness experience to get to my promise. The promise was on the other side. And mm -hmm. the promise was good. God said to me, there's no expiration date to my word or my promise. I still just had to go through the wilderness experience to get to my promise. It was just waiting for me to show up. So yeah. I couldn't skip this process. I had to endure it, but then I had to have the patience to wait, knowing that it was still something good on the other side of it. Yeah. And so a lot of times we don't, we want to do one without the other. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Nice. Nice. So how can people get copies of your book? Um, they can always reach out to me, Google me or um, I tell anybody if you're in the Baltimore area, they're in all the libraries um, or in Westminster, Carroll County, PA, but you could also on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles 
or just reach out to me on all of the social media outlets, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, you can always reach out, just put my name in, it will come up and you could definitely connect with me and definitely get a copy of any of the books. Okay. Thank you. So as we wrap this up, what what message do you have for people who may be considering, should I buy this book or what do you want people to take away from reading the book? Um, one of the things is this is also um, helping you to understand the process of patient and endurance, but mm -hmm. this is also um, a teachable moment, understanding the teachable moments of life. So this will help you to reevaluate you and where you are, uh, your vision, your dream, your goals, but it will help you to understand the importance of endurance, the importance of having patience, the importance of they go hand in hand, but allow you to be empowered to know it's not how I start, but how I finish. It's not how fast I run, but that I endure and just stay in the race and run this race with patience and you'll get to the finish line. Amen. Amen. As we wrap this up, I'm going to make a request I haven't made before, but I'd like you to say a word of prayer for people who are, everybody's in some spot, yes. but I'd like you to just, you know, speak a word, pray for people who are watching this and, you know, because some people are going to be watching this in years to come. But I'd like to just say a word of prayer around patience and endurance in enduring the yes. please. Father, we thank you even now and then. God, we ask that you would bless those that would see this broadcast, would hear this broadcast, even God, as it would touch the hearts of your people around this world. Father, I ask even now that you would give them the patience and endurance to wait on you, to hold on, to hang in there, knowing that your word said all things work together. And so, Father, even now, for those that don't have the patience or the endurance, God, I speak to them even now, build them up in their most holy faith, strengthen mm -hmm. them even now, give them the, the, the wisdom, the encouragement, oh God, to wait on you and knowing that all things work together and that there's something good coming out of the situation that circumstance mm -hmm. and let them rest in you and on the word and father i pray even now that you allow them to rest in you speak mm -hmm. to them encourage mm -hmm. them send mm -hmm. the word send the angel mm -hmm. send a song send someone to encourage and to uplift them and everything mm -hmm. shall be well as mm -hmm. we wait on you and mm -hmm. expectation that mm -hmm. knowing that things are going to work in our favor in jesus name amen 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 Thank you very much. I really appreciate you joining me yes. in the Quip Corners Book Corner. Thank you so much for the opportunity as always. Pray God's richest blessings as you continue yeah. to reach people across the nation, across the country, a city, a state, and so that people will be encouraged, be inspired and uplifted mm -hmm. because he has given us the tools. He has given us the avenue to be able to mm -hmm. reach them all over right from where we are. Yes, that's true. Amen. Thank you. I won um, author of the year um, for the ninth annual, I know, um, gospel award. So it was great. Um, so ready when you are. I mean, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do this then. Um, well, well, let's just say a word of prayer first. Father, we just thank you for today. We give you praise. We thank you because it's one thing to have a plan and another to be alive and well to execute it. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to catch up again with Dr. Eric. We thank you for all that's been happening in his life. Thank you for how you're advancing the, his, the work of his hands. Even as we discuss his book, we pray, Lord God, that your presence will go with this video wherever it goes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Wonderful when you can get someone not just speak, but also pray. I say a big amen to Dr. Eric's prayer. You'll see information on how you can get copies of his book below, as usual. 
And I'd love to read your comments. Patience, endurance can be challenging. May God continue to help us. See you in another episode of the Crip Corner with Ada. God bless you. I know.